Welcome to the Windows 7 Feature Quick Tour. There are plenty of new features in Windows 7 and you'll want to take time to explore them all. This video briefly describes the top 10 Windows 7 features, the ones we think are the most important. Number 10 is Snap. This is a user favorite and Microsoft is advertising this feature as one that users find very sensible. Just take any two windows on your desktop. Maybe they're overlapping and you need to see the contents of both windows, perhaps to copy from one to the other. The idea is to smash one to the left side of the screen and the other to the right. They snap to perfect tiles covering exactly half of the screen that you can then use to compare documents, copy files, or just multitask. Number nine is Shake. This one is like Snap, but you can use it to eliminate other windows. Let's say you have two or more windows open and you're feeling a little bit cluttered on a desktop. Grab the window you want to isolate on the title bar and shake it back and forth a few times. All other windows close and you can focus on the one. Shake it again and all your original windows open back up where they were. They didn't close, they just became minimized. Number eight is parental controls. We covered this feature in another video, but you'll want to be aware of it and use it to customize each family member's Windows experience. You can block certain websites, programs, and different times of day for children, and you can even get reports back on their activities if you want to. It requires setting up separate user accounts for each of the children and customizing the settings. Number seven is Windows Media Center and Windows TV. This feature was available in some previous versions of Vista, but is standard in Windows 7. You can view internet TV, broadcast TV, and use program guides and the DVR features. WMC may become your computer entertainment center, so definitely see if your computer has it and check it out. It's easy to set it up. Number six is Windows Personalization. There are many ways for you to customize your desktop and enable some really cool features. Each user can set up their Windows environment differently. We have another video that gives you the details of setting up your Windows personalization. Number five is custom text size. You know how some websites and programs use those tiny little fonts? Well, you can set the size of the text fonts on your system so they're always shown at a selectable percentage of the original say 125 or 150 percent for example. Those user agreements and contracts with fine print are no longer a problem and users with vision difficulties can really benefit. The only downside is you have to reboot your PC to put the new text sizes into effect. Number four is the handy screen magnifier. I've actually seen people put a magnifying glass up to their computer screen. Now you have one built right in. Just select the magnifier feature and you can move it over the screen to blow up details as you go. And there are so many cool ways to use it you'll want to explore the magnifier toolbar on your own. You can magnify the whole screen, use a lens to move over the screen, open a dock to magnify the portions your cursor is near and then show it in the docked viewer. And check this, you can set the magnification to whatever level you want. You can really get in and see the details. Number three is Windows Live Movie Maker. If you make digital home movies, you will really love this program. It allows you to import your movies from the camera, put movies and still photos on a timeline, add titles and transitions, then save the movies as YouTube, DVDs, and other formats. You'll want to try this program out on your own. Just hook up your camera using a digital video or USB interface and Windows takes it from there. You'll soon be creating family masterpieces like a Hollywood producer. Number two is the search feature. Windows 7 gives you all kinds of information when you use the search box. You can find programs and files, but also emails, contacts, and calendar items from Outlook. And if you feel like scrolling through a long list, just click More Results and check out the volumes of information. Use this feature whenever you lose a file. You can change the view of the list and get a preview of file contents. And the number one feature we are highlighting is the improved taskbar. We've created another video on this topic and you probably want to review that one for the details, 
But just take a quick look at the way the new taskbar keeps you informed of exactly what your computer is doing at any time. You can preview files that are open and right click to open, close, or pin them to the taskbar. This concludes the Windows 7 feature quick tour video.